Okay, so let's get hands on and let's start writing some code. Um, I'm going to, we're going to talk about syntax and how, what are the rules of writing C sharp code. Uh, and just because we are a little new to this environment yet, I'm going to manually create a new project here with all of you. So I'm going to start Visual Studio and you're going to see that this window pops up and then I'm going to create a new project. Um, that project is going to be, and I'm going to use a template. Remember that we're going to be working mostly with console applications and we want them to be using the .NET framework. So I could either look up here a template for a console app on the .NET framework, not core, or because I just have it here on the recent projects, I'm just going to click here on, on the most recent one. I'm going to create next, and this one is going to be called 02 syntax because I am saving all these solutions so that you guys can watch them and can download them from the GitHub repository at Parametric Camp. And then I'm going to create this project and then um, it's going to hopefully open up. All right, here we go. All right, so the first thing that we would like to um, explore is the rules of syntax of how to write C sharp code. Okay. And remember that most of what I'm going to explain here today, it's particular to C sharp, even though the rules of the syntactical rules of C sharp belong to the same as the whole family of C languages, which include C, C++, C sharp, Java, and JavaScript. So the nice, the good news is that if you learn the syntax, of C sharp, you will be extremely, extremely familiar with the same syntax in all these other languages that I just explained. Python, for example, uses a very different syntax. So you for the principles are the same, but the syntax is very different. So you would need to learn a lot of the idioms and how things are written for that particular language. And the first thing that I would like to uh, explain is actually not how to write code at all, but something that I find arguably most more important even than code when you're writing a program, which is comments. All right. Comments are little pieces of text that you can insert in a program and they basically act as, as you said, um, as comments. They are basically explanatory notes that developers write inside of programs just for the sake of remembering things for themselves or annotating reasons of why certain things are in a particular way for other people who might be looking at that code, either team members from the same team, or for example, if it's an open source uh, code for other people who might be downloading and using that code and maybe modifying it. Um, the way to write comments in C sharp and in other C related languages is by using is by typing two forward slashes. All right, after I type two forward slashes, anything that I write afterward is just a comment. So for example, this is a single line comment. This is a single line comment because if I type enter, anything that I write afterwards is not considered as a, um, as a comment, right? So right now it's giving me an error because the computer doesn't understand does, 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 right? So I would need to write another two forward slashes and write this, is another single line comment, right? Great. Another thing that I can do is let's say this will, oops, become a comment. You see how uh, uh, C sharp is trying to autocomplete stuff. I, what I can do is if I have text that I want to turn into a comment, what I can do is I can go here to edit and I can say advance and I can say toggle line comment, and then everything here becomes a comment, or I can use some kind of shortcut to make this a comment. I am not sure what the default shortcut is. You should be seeing it here, but I believe that I have changed it to be control forward slash. So by doing this, I can do control forward slash, and then things turn on and off as a comment. This becomes, this is really, really useful when you have code that you want, for example, to deactivate it's very common to just turn it into a comment. But if you say you want to write like a very long paragraph that is multi-line and you don't want to have to be uh, writing these two forward slashes every time, something that you can do is you can write a multi-line comment. A multi-line comment is 
starts with a forward slash and an asterisk. Then you can type whatever you want. And you can see that um, Visual Studio is adding these asterisks here for flavor, but in fact, they're actually not really needed. A multi-line comment will be anything that is between an opening forward slash and an asterisk and a closing asterisk and a forward slash. You see how before I had that, it even turned into comments, these three curly brackets here, which are now gray. Oh, you can't see them. <laughs> these three curly brackets here, they turn, it turned them into uh, green. So those are even, those are uh, curly um, comments now. So some, I can deactivate them by just um, closing the multi-line comment, all right? So and this can be, this is a multi, oh, sorry. This is a multi-line comment, all right? Cool, so multi-line comments are, comments and multi-line comments are very useful to annotate code. So for example, let's say we use, write the program that we learned before. So console write line and here I'm, here I'm going to say hello world right and I close this um, I believe this is a right and then I am going to copy and paste this and I'm going to here I'm going to say read key to stop the program all right but let's say that I didn't know what these two lines of code meant so what I can do is I can say is I can say um, here it's very common to write a note right at the beginning of the line so this line prints a message to the console, right? And then this other one, I could say this, can you see it here? This line uh, stops the program and waits for user keyboard input. All right. Something that is very common as well sometimes is to do this, but in the same line where the code is. So write in this here or write in this here. If you don't want to uh, waste like a new line writing comments, okay? Um, but the most important part is to remember that comments have absolutely no effect whatsoever on the code. Uh, basically when the when the compiler takes this code and turns it into machine language, it just basically deletes all the comments because they're unnecessary. They, they cease to exist. Um, and um, I cannot stress enough how important comments are, not just if you're working in teams with other people, but very, very often way more important for yourself because believe me with this, this is a very simple program but programs grow in complexity very fast. And even if you are the only one who develops them, very, very, very often you will forget why you made certain decisions or you will forget what a certain block of code that is written in a weird way that you have totally forgotten about. You will forget what that block of code is doing. So writing notes and writing comments is way, way more important, not just for your team members, but very especially for yourself to remind yourself of what things you did and what, why you meet the, those certain things depending on where you are. In the in the program all right um, so that's it single comments or multi-line comments let's move on 